guys, July looks like to become the month of releases for Humanique. First off, next week on Wednesday, we are launching our new website. It will provide a wealth of information on our project background, as well as about our current activities, roadmap, and of course, product rollout. The new website will also present a massive part called Humanique Wiki. In other words, it is an online encyclopedia of Humanique, telling all about the project from A to Z. Here you will get an insight on the core values of the company, its beliefs and missions, about participants and developers. It will also feature user stories, podcasts and lots of other useful materials on how to use the Manic app to its full potential. It will also allow users to access all this offline once it is downloaded. Next week, on 26th of July, Humanic is arranging its first big meetup in London. The event will be held in ThinkRise, a cutting-edge fintech accelerator powered by Barclays. The venue's capacity is around 150 people, so if you guys are in London next week, you are more than welcome to join us. During this event, a number of important announcements will be made, especially regarding the coming Humanic app release. The light version of the app will be launched five days after the meetup on 31st of July. And it's going to be the focus of a pilot program getting underway in Ghana, West Africa, specifically targeting women entrepreneurs, universities and workers in major low-income areas. A pro version of the Humanic app will be launched later this year and will be available in iOS and Android and will have a full range of features for the wider audience. For those who won't be able to make it to ThinkRise on 26th of July, the online live stream on Facebook will be arranged. So please stay tuned and don't miss special announcements on our social media accounts. Last week, Humanique's special board member, Tim Campbell, conducted an interview with Sky News presenter, Claude James. Let's see the part of their conversation. In countries where, you know, we talk about unbanked and, and, you know, this sort of cash issue, and this is why I think I'm so passionate about this area, is because, you know, this, this is people's lives. It's education and financial literacy is literally where it begins. It's so important. I obviously am particularly interested in the girls, but, you know, in any of these countries, there was a, another woman I spoke to, you know, 70% of Vietnam, in 70% of Vietnam is unbanked. Yeah. So, so if you're unbanked, you, you know, you, you just don't have rights to so many human, basic human right. rights. And it's also, it's, it's your life. Like, you know, people get their arms chopped off for cash or for goods. Like if you're being recognized by, you know, biotech or AI or every one of these cool things that you're actually, it's actually pretty cool that mm. you're sort of seeing at the moment. Um, it literally is eliminating, it will never eliminate, but it will certainly come closer to eradicating, you know, crime and, and I, I am quite passionate about that education piece, which is why I love that for MoCo. I just think, what a brilliant business model. Brilliant. It's important. Please watch the whole interview here on our YouTube channel. That's all for today. Thank you for your attention, guys. And goodbye.